young women have been left disfigured after taking part in the worrying TikTok beauty trend. The trend, which is believed to have been inspired in part by Meghan Markle's natural freckles, has seen people tattooing their faces to achieve the same look. Experts have now issued warnings to users of the video sharing platform after those taking part in the trend were left needing medical treatment. Some young women have also been left with permanent scarring and temporary blindness after injecting ink into their own faces. While many people who have natural freckles aren't always keen on them the look has become increasingly popular with some believing it makes them look younger. As a result beauty professionals, who have long offered tattooing eyebrows as part of their services, are now turning to freckles. However many TikTok users are choosing to do it themselves with some horrific consequences. Some of those who have tried to give themselves the faux freckle look have ended up spending hundreds of pounds on getting them removed after botched jobs. One person who knows this better than most is Tilly Whitfeld whose DIY freckle job left her with permanent scarring across her face. The 22-year-old, who has more than 130,000 followers on TikTok and is best known for being a housemaid on Big Brother Australia, tried to give herself freckles using an at-home acupuncture treatment after copying a video she saw on the site. However she was hospitalized with severe burns as the brown tattoo ink that she bought from eBay contained high levels of lead. She also temporarily lost vision in one eye following the treatment. Despite spending more than £8,500 to try and fix her burnt face she still has permanent scarring on her cheeks. After trying laser removal for her botched tattoos Tilly uploaded a video to TikTok to show her followers the results. In the video she explains, this is the laser removal for my tattoos. It's fully bruised and there are blood blisters everywhere. Don't tattoo your face, don't do anything to your face. Clearly regretting her decision, which has left her with scarring deep below her skin. In another video she tells her followers, this is to anyone thinking of getting freckles tattooed on their face, don't. In another, she says the treatment was totally worth it before adding, hashtag sarcasm. Makeup specialist San Deller told the trend was most popular with people aged between 18 and 25. She added, there was a time when people wanted to hide their freckles but now people really want them and it was Meghan Markle who sparked the demand. The concerning trend, which has led to more and more cases like Tilly's, has prompted some beauty experts to issue warnings with some cautioning that using non-sterilized needles runs the risk of contracting HIV. Laura Kay, a makeup artist based in London, told, I wouldn't advise that you get tattoo freckles done. She added, people who do tattoos at home without a license are known as scratchers and that's not legal. Tattoo artists must have a license and DIY tattoos pose a real risk of HIV or hepatitis. Throwback, Megan sat opposite host Helen DeGeneres in November, chatting to her personal friend about her life in Montecito, and participated in a series of embarrassing challenges in a pre-recorded segment. Professor Salyatins, a professor of marketing specializing in how the royal family brands itself, told that Megan's appearance on the show was a disaster for the Duchess of Sussex. She added, I was mortified for her. I thought, are you kidding me? You're not a sitcom actress. Professor Ottens continued on to say the Duchess of Sussex relies on her previous years of acting as a behavioral guideline in certain situations. She claimed, the way Meghan acts, and I use that word deliberately, her actress identity is still very much alive for her. She has not given up the identity of an actress. So, a lot of the time she acts. She said Meghan's career and upbringing shape how she continues to brand herself, as the Duchess of Sussex. She claimed, I think Meghan wants to be seen as a celebrity in the U.S. That's her frame of reference. She was born in Los Angeles. She wanted to be an actress. This is the sphere in which she always wanted to succeed.